Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Uh, today, I'm going to create another of my mini journals. Uh, I'm quite addicted to these at the moment. Uh, here is what I'm using to create my mini journals. Art by Marlene's uh, mini journal die uh, from her Arabia collection. Here you can see my first uh, mini journal that I did with her uh, Arabia collection. Uh, also the die cuts and everything is from her. Uh, and my second one <coughs> is from uh, is, is uh, by using Elena Zinski art digital stamps. Uh, both very colorful and I love them. Uh, and uh, since I'm addicted, I cut a third one uh, with uh, some pages. I think this will be like 20 pages. If you want to watch uh, my other two journals, I'm going to link the videos down below at the description area. Today I'm going for a winter uh, concept and I will show you the products I'm going to use. I'm going to create the backgrounds with my Dina Wakely gloss sprays and uh, Distress Oxide sprays. sprays. I'm going to use uh, the uh, scrapbook papers that I have in my stash for a long time. I had this from Bobani for years and years. I have these uh, 12 by 12 separate uh, scrapbook papers that I used some. This blue land from Stamperia which has a really beautiful uh, winter theme uh, and also colors. So I'm going for blues, beige, brown, um, light blues, uh, these kind of tones. And I have this uh, uh, collection from Kaiser Craft, uh, which is one of my favorite uh, scrapbook papers, uh, Indigo Skies, uh, which is dominant in blue, white and light blue. Uh, so I, I took these uh, with me. Uh, I took them out of my stash and they are next to me always. These will be my uh, sentiments, that uh, sticker collection from this uh, set and this also has a lot of sentiments uh, so I'm going to separate them uh, and I will use these the same uh, scrapbook papers again and again for them to match and create a concept for me that's what I like the most uh, creating these mini journals uh, because you use the same tools or uh, concepts uh, they look like one whole thing uh, all together I'm going to also use my chipboards which I didn't use for a while and I took some background stamps next to me again some uh, script stamps, background stamps from Dilutions, Tim Holtz, whatever I have, text stamps, splashes, some borders uh, some generic things that I can use to create some background uh, interest and these are from Art by Marlene uh, and uh, let's start to generate our uh, backgrounds. I'm going to create the whole uh, journal, 20 pages, uh, back and forth uh, in this video. So it's going to be a long one. Grab your drinks, even maybe some snacks, food. Uh, and uh, you can always pause and resume later. Uh, so enjoy! Uh, I'm using uh, Distress Sprays, uh, Stains, Oxides or Dina Wakely's uh, Gloss Sprays. I'm showing the colors before on the screen. So feel free to pause if you want to uh, just uh, uh, note the colors yourself. Uh, other than that, I'm not going to uh, go on detail the supplies I'm using. I'm using some sprays with the same color scheme. Browns, greys, beige, blues uh, to go with the winter uh, concept. And uh, it will take forever if I show everything uh, at length and talk about it. Uh, we will be here uh, hours and hours. And that's not my aim. So uh, I'm just uh, going wide in what I am using. Uh, and what is important is for me uh, while creating these journals it gives me the opportunity to use my stash that has been there for a long time that's all my objective uh, and I am enjoying it a lot uh, giving life to what I purchased long time ago uh, and also uh, creating this uh, at one go um, I think it takes me like one and a half day two days uh, on and off uh, to create this journal. 
While I'm talking, I'm just creating my background. I'm spraying some water on the page uh, and uh, using colors uh, to create the backgrounds. Uh, I get a lot of questions about which kind of paper I'm using. Uh, I'm trying to use heavy, uh, either heavy cardstock, watercolor paper is completely fine, a good quality one which is thick and uh, also mixed media paper, uh, again mixed media cardstock would be completely fine. Uh, I'm using some cardstock in my stash uh, that was there long time so uh, I'm using that which is quite thick. And I tested before if it takes water well. Not every cardstock takes water well, but this was done for flower making. Uh, so it's very thick and textured and takes water very well uh, without warping. So uh, I'm using this. I think it's a very good idea if you have some things in your stash first, test, test them with your mediums so that you want to use. If it takes it well, good. It doesn't matter what paper it is. It, uh, it suits your purpose. If it doesn't, then look for better quality ones like watercolor paper or mixed media cardstock. After I spray, I'm leaving uh, my backgrounds on the side for them to dry uh, themselves. So I'm air drying them. Uh, there are a lot, so I cannot uh, uh, use my heat gun to dry them all. It will take forever. As I create one, I put it aside and uh, I continue to create the others. And uh, when while I'm finished with the one side, the others are dry. So I work on the uh, back si uh, other side uh, of the ones that I created. This way, I didn't lose any time waiting uh, for something to dry. Uh, and in the meantime, talking about sprays, uh, my distress oxide sprays uh, didn't clog, uh, which I'm really happy about. If you clean them with the baby baby wipe. Uh, it works completely fine and uh, my uh, Dina Weekly Gloss sprays, I had a lot of problems in the previous batch, the first batch that I bought because I, uh, um, I stored them vertically and I think that didn't work uh, and this time uh, I uh, decided to store them uh, horizontally uh, and I had much less clogging, it, make, it made a big difference so I, I'm just passing on the uh, experience uh, and maybe you didn't experience clogging but I did although I cleaned them religiously after using um, with a baby wipe. Acrylic turns into uh, plastic when it dries so there is no escape from it and I think no matter what uh, it just dries in, in the nozzle somewhere and I opened and I made investigations even. <laughs> And I found little bits of plastic so uh, it's a bit difficult to manage these sprays uh, but when you spray it's uh, the finish is very nice the gloss the effects it makes um, and uh, it's permanent so uh, I'm still uh, on the side of I still like them enough uh, to invest and uh, use and I really like the combination of uh, different sprays. Uh, I don't limit myself to use only oxides or only um, gloss sprays. Uh, when they are combined, they uh, create different effects, which I love. Um, if you spray oxides over stains, it's more vibrant uh, and also the gloss. Um, so uh, I really enjoy uh, mixing all of them uh, for different effects. Um, and especially in the second uh, release of Dina's uh, gloss sprays, uh, I love the colors. Um, there is a color uh, called medieval and uh, the pastels, the sand, um, the light blue uh, are the colors that I love a lot, which didn't exist in the first. For example, this is sand. Um, this beige color doesn't exist a lot in sprays, uh, so I love it and it goes very nice with blues and browns. And this is the light blue that I am talking about. Uh, look how nice it combines with the sand and uh, I'm just doing some drips as well over the brown, uh, which looks amazing. Uh, I'll just put it aside uh, like this. 
and I didn't get any clogs in the new batch uh, after uh, storing them horizontally uh, so I really suggest uh, you to try if you're having issues like me I'm just trying to have some variety here uh, mixing grays, blues, uh, browns uh, on separate uh, papers um, so sometimes I mix uh, browns only or uh, sometimes blues with grays sometimes gray only and sometimes um, blue and browns uh, go very nice together and they all uh, remind uh, winter to us uh, and I I wanted to have the cover uh, dark uh, darkish color uh, reminding of winter night uh, so I used uh, the night color from Dina's sprays um, and combined it with a little bit brown and uh, but mainly kept it dark and I went for the same color scream, scheme <laughs> not scream uh, for the uh, for one side and the inside of the cover as well so let's have a look uh, how this thing looks for now this is the cover and as I said uh, there are the finishes are different some of them are more, ch more chalky when I used oxides a lot and some of them are gloss uh, some of them uh, are more vibrant and some are more pale I'm really happy with it this time I'm going to start from the cover uh, I grabbed these uh, chipboards from my uh, stash again long time ago uh, one is uh, says magic uh, one is uh, like a couple of snowflakes that are leftovers from other projects uh, and I decided to do some uh, embossing first uh, I'm using this uh, tall text from uh, Tim Holtz that I showed you to write winter with a white embossing powder and I'm using wool uh, I'm just uh, using my powder first so that the embossing powder doesn't stick anywhere else uh, and I'm going to uh, uh, emboss these snowflakes too with a sparkling snow uh, from wow again this is white but it has glitter in it so it has a nice sparkle to it uh, this uh, snowflake uh, I uh, I accidentally broke it I think and it was like that in my stash so I'm going to make use of it now uh, you will see how uh, and uh, I'm going to emboss magic with copper embossing powder uh, I decided that copper uh, copper embossing powder and all this sparkling snow uh, will be uh, my embossing powders for the, this project uh, so if I use it here and there I think it will uh, add to the harmony uh, and uh, concept uh, of the same journal so I'm just heat setting it the title of my uh, cover will be Mi winter magic uh, so I'm going to glue, uh, this is a glue stick, this at the bottom of the page. As you see it's actually broken but uh, it looks like I cut it on purpose. So it fits perfectly and I'm going to glue this magic right in the middle uh, of my page. So I think it, it, I created a nice cover there uh, and I decided to uh, cut a few hearts that I can use here and there. Uh, and I'm going to uh, emboss it with copper so first uh, on a piece of cardstock I'm just embossing the uh, copper and I'm using my Martha Stewart heart confetti punch to punch out some hearts and I'm going to uh, glue one of them inside this uh, snowflake uh, so that it's uh, it comes all together and of course I'm going to sprinkle some snow uh, and actually quite a bit uh, with my Dina Wakely uh, white uh, spray you can just water down acrylic since this nozzle isn't working anymore I'm not going to bother with it and uh, I'll use it as a splashing tool instead of a spray And I'll do the same for this snowflake. Uh, I'm going to emboss it with the sparkling white and uh, I'm going to just stick it at the back of my journal. And here it is. I'll just glue it down 
and I'll do the same I'm going to uh, glue one of the hearts right in the middle so I have my cover and you can see it uh, close up from the pictures here how beautiful the copper is and the snowflakes are shining uh, with the copper and uh, I have the back uh, complementing the front of the cover now uh, coming to the insides uh, I have this uh, birch tree uh, stencil that I cut with my digital cutter uh, again uh, years ago I'm using my this is the concept of the mini journals uh, using the uh, supplies from years ago and uh, I'm using my favorite uh, modeling paste Liquitex light modeling paste uh, to uh, decorate these two pages inside with birch uh, trees birch trunks uh, and I'm just going over it uh, with my paste after it dries and this is air dried and it's really dry uh, I'm just covering it with my powder tool uh, so that uh, I'm going to do embossing and I don't want it to stick everywhere so uh, I'm just using a Wirsamart pen this is a very useful tool I think uh, I use it quite often for intricate uh, embossing I just uh, uh, went over one side of the uh, birch tree uh, and uh, I'm just going to emboss like giving it a shadow uh, you will understand what I mean when I do it for all and I'm going to do this for all the birch trees but I'm showing an example here I'll just go over it and this um, one side will be copper when you look at birch trees uh, there will be always a shadow and a light part and I did it with the copper embossing so it looks uh, a lot more interesting than normal you will see uh, more clearly in the uh, close-up pictures here uh, you can see I did it for all the trees and I embossed one side of them coming to the next page I'm going to use one of these beautiful winter uh, mugs uh, from this scrapbook paper I love this paper and I want to use it all the time but uh, somehow I didn't I only did one tag I think and uh, I took one of the wood papers from the Bow Bunny collection and I am uh, getting out a couple of splash uh, stamps because it's related to coffee I'm going to decorate the background for some movement uh, with these splashes so this is coffee stain and I'm using my dark uh, brown ink from Memento to stamp it here and there and then I'm going to use this splash one uh, and use the blue uh, to again stamp here and there to have some interest at the back and to match the sparkle of the uh, mug the coffee cup is in uh, some sparkle there I'm going to stamp the corners uh, with uh, one of the stamps from Art by Marlene background doodles uh, and again emboss with uh, copper as you see there it, it's stuck uh, to the other stamp uh, place too and this is why I, I want to uh, powder everything you can use your brush to get rid of that uh, powder but sometimes you can't so uh, it's better to powder always and I'm going to uh, take my sentiment from this uh, paper uh, also a couple of uh, uh, things that look like uh, washi tapes uh, I think it's a really nice texture to have it uh, and then uh, I'm having one of these uh, sentiments here I'll glue uh, everything down and uh, I'm just going to uh, draw some smoke coming out of the coffee with my white gel pen I think it will look nice and I want to draw a few uh, dark splashes this is medieval uh, from uh, Dina Wakely and it's the dark color that you see at the background um, and you can easily clean it from the other page and this is white uh, splashes I'll go around the edges with black ink uh, archival ink for all of them uh, so that they match and there is some sort of border and here are the close-up pictures for you to see the details uh, all these splashes and stains at the background have created a really nice texture, texture actually in my next page I'm going to use this beautiful uh, scrapbook paper 
<coughs> blue land from uh, Stamperia. I always wanted to use this bottom part of this uh, page, so this is my dream, dream come true. Um, I was looking at it for so long since I got that paper and uh, here it is now I can use it. Um, I'm going to stick it at the bottom like I see on the paper and I'm going to cut these beautiful uh, butterflies as well. And uh, this uh, beautiful lantern uh, lamp uh, that I see on another part of the paper. So I'm going to make a scenery using these. Uh, and uh, I'm just uh, I just grabbed a, a metal chain from my stash, a little one. Uh, I'm going to hang the lantern, but I am obsessive. It's a gold color, so I need to turn it into copper to go with the rest of my theme of being copper. So I'm going to uh, stick my uh, lamp and then the chain. Uh, also, I'm going to. Uh, I decided to give a little bit of uh, interest at the back. So I grabbed my grey uh, archival ink and I am uh, stamping some text uh, at the background. Uh, also on this wood uh, too, so that everything comes together. As usual, uh, I'm going to do my edges. Uh, I'm using dark blue. I will also do some splashes with the dark blue too. And after that I will also splash with the white. I love the color scheme of this page and the page on the left. Uh, some blues and uh, light, light blues and white. Uh, it looks like everything is in the clouds, uh, so I really love it. Uh, and uh, I'm just now uh, sticking down my sentiment. I'm going around with uh, both black and white uh, pens. And I will uh, stick down my butterflies as well to complete my page. Uh, and uh, I think I can call it done. My chain has gone so I'm going to stick it again. And you can see the details from these close-up pictures. My next page is a see-through one with a window. Uh, there are the, there is this die that I used from the Mar Art by Marlene collection and I opened the window. Uh, I really like this uh, uh, interaction in these uh, mini journals. Uh, it brings a lot of interest and uh, people also tell me it's very uh, nice and interesting to look at the window once. Uh, so I selected first of all one of the sentiments uh, in the sticker collection. And lucky that there are round ones, so I took advantage of it. For the rest of the background, so I'm using a Tim Holtz background uh, stamp with uh, these cobblestones. And I am just going to stamp it with uh, my uh, dark brown ink. I'm just stamping it uh, all around, not leaving uh, empty spaces. Uh, I'm going to bring a uh, interest as much as possible to this because I cannot use a focal point um, but these pages are different parts of the uh, journal that I really like and you don't have to bring the same amount of uh, detail to every single page uh, so I grab the uh, stencil from Tim Holtz again uh, and I'm going over it with my uh, modeling piece uh, to cover this page with snowflake, snowflakes And I decided to emboss these uh, <coughs> snowflakes with the sparkling snow uh, glitter embossing powder that I used before. So I'm going to just uh, put my powder and heat set it uh, so they are not uh, sparkling. Uh, I decided to uh, do some splashes with the light blue uh, Dina Wakely uh, spray which will give a little bit of movement and uh, lighten it up with a uh, light blue. Also the uh, sentiment in the center is blue, so I wanted to do this. Darkening up the edges was the last step and you can see it close up uh, here in the pictures. Uh, the uh, area at the back is uh, blue uh, and uh, I'm going to work on it uh, as a next step uh, just to uh, make sure these two pages work together well. 
Again, I'm going to go for a simple uh, design. Uh, since I have these uh, openings, uh, I, I prefer to go for simple things because the uh, area is limited anyway. There's a big uh, window in the middle. And that window is the trick. It's the eye-catching thing. So there is no need to do a lot of things. Uh, these pages are to be uh, meant to be playful uh, in a simple way. Uh, and the openings are not even big. It's a shape. Um, so I'm going to make sure the area in the middle stays uh, clean. And I will do the same thing actually. I'm going to stick uh, this uh, round uh, sentiment, good vibes, in the middle in the same place that I have in the other one and uh, after that I want to give a little bit movement uh, to the background so I'm going to use an Art by Marlene little uh, doodle stamp uh, to use with a, a grey uh, ink uh, to stamp at the background uh, vertically this little stamp uh, as you see it makes a big difference it makes it much more energetic and full uh, interesting I'm going to uh, complete it with my white gel pen and uh, I'm going to, uh, you see little dots on this uh, stamp, I'm going to just do a, a little dot of uh, white also in the middle of them and uh, it will be simply done uh, if you look at uh, how it looks uh, it's still the same with the blue coming through uh, and both pages are done now I'm going to move to the uh, page next to it. I'm going to use this tag. Again, I, I took it from the Blue Land uh, papers. Uh, and I put a little, uh, little string uh, on the tag uh, to give a little bit uh, different uh, move to the page. And I'm just uh, uh, tearing off a few uh, of these uh, papers with different textures. And I'm going to glue them on top of each other uh, to put my tag on them eventually. This will add a nice contrast uh, against that uh, brown background. Uh, and also uh, look different uh, on this page uh, as a texture. I'm going to uh, uh, ink uh, the edges uh, with brown. Uh, just for the white to disappear uh, so that it's uh, in line with the background and I'm just uh, using my glue stick to glue them on top of each other and I like this torn uh, texture it looks very vintagey uh, so it all goes with the concept uh, and uh, I'm just uh, making sure they are not super flat I'm cutting the excess and now I'm going to uh, glue my tag on top of them uh, with an angle. I'm doing the same thing uh, to my tag as well just to have the same uh, look on the edges. Uh, and I'm again using my glue stick to stick it. I'm going to make sure the bottom of it is not uh, glued flat down and a little bit curved. Uh, this will give a nice uh, interest as well. Uh, and I'm going to use these musical notes uh, to stamp the background uh, since there are um, some uh, text on the pages, on the scraps uh, I thought this would be a good uh, addition to the rest of the page for the corner I also cut uh, uh, this flower here it is magically uh, it's not magic, I did a lot of fussy cutting again, but uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy the result eventually and I don't cut them sitting at my table. I always uh, cut them in a free time uh, watching TV or something. Uh, or sometimes when I'm crafting, I'm listening to audiobooks, uh, which gives another uh, thing uh, to do. and. Uh, you know it's a mindfulness activity anyway uh, so I like the silence and just cre uh, creating and thinking nothing else but what to do on the page uh, I am just uh, uh, using my snow pan here uh, this is a snow pan when you uh, use it the white um, and when you heat set it 
it creates a snow texture it bubbles up and gives a nice texture uh, and I'm going to use it more in the uh, further pages so you will see more the effects and here are the uh, close-up pictures uh, for you to see the details if you see uh, the little snow particles they are uh, textured and they are raised uh, but you will see it more uh, in the following pages we have another uh, window here so I'm going to uh, design accordingly uh, I'm using this uh, Dilusions background stamp uh, to stamp all over the background uh, with a brown ink uh, and uh, I'm going to use my uh, stencil to do some texture work as well uh, next again I took my Tim Holtz uh, stencil uh, that has snow I don't have many stencils with uh, winter themes, snow and uh, that kind of thing so I'm using this uh, and I think uh, I have another one uh, again and again um, and I'm using my paste uh, to create a border this time next I'm going to use my uh, stickles uh, as you see this is now dry and when it dries it's, uh, it took some of the color of the background when you have dye uh, sprays they give their color with water this is a uh, clear uh, uh, or sparkle uh, stickle uh, so it's going to it's, it has glitter so it's going to show nicely and I thought I would uh, make a drop uh, within these uh, stars it would look nice and again I'm going to have the uh, center with this circle uh, circle um, sentiments and so I think uh, I'm going to call that page done after sticking a couple of uh, stickers from my sticker set as well again I'm going for a simplistic look for the uh, window ones and if you pay attention I have uh, I also put stickers in the middle of the uh, snowflakes this time copper ones uh, so they have a center uh, copper uh, and the others are uh, clear uh, and uh, before I forget <laughs> I will also design this page uh, and put it aside uh, I'm again doing uh, embossing and I think I did this with uh, uh, my last mini journal with uh, Elena Zinski art uh, pages uh, I love this stamp it has mini uh, uh, dots <laughs> kind of uh, uh, dust uh, dusty dots I don't know uh, but um, I'm, I just uh, stamped it all over this page and I'm using my copper uh, embossing powder uh, to do this uh, embossing I think it will look really nice over blue background uh, and uh, sparkle a lot uh, sorry, I <laughs> in these videos uh, doing voiceover is the hardest because uh, it requires talking one hour, more than one hour. Uh, but uh, it looks uh, really nice as you see all the sparkle. And I'm going to put another circle sentiment, smile, uh, in the middle of it. Uh, after the edges, I'll call it done. So uh, in these window uh, pages, I prefer the simpler route. And here are the close-up pictures for you to see the beautiful copper details. The next page uh, I'm working on is uh, this one. And uh, I'm starting with uh, some background work uh, with my uh, script stamp. Uh, this is like a straight uh, tech text stamp. And I'm using this little one from Tim Holtz uh, collection uh, to create some sort of uh, black border uh, around the edges. Uh, I really like this stamp actually it's little but it's very useful uh, and uh, I took this uh, scrap paper from the Bow Bunny collection uh, I'll use it as a background uh, for my uh, bird uh, picture and I'm going to actually raise it with uh, uh, some foam tape uh, I think it will add a nice texture again I'm going for a, simp a simple uh, page and I'm going to stick my sentiment over the uh, birds uh, so it will be also raised and uh, I'm going to do some white splashes 
uh, as you see it came uh, together very uh, quickly this one with some with couple of scrap papers and beautiful images uh, you can actually have a, a beautiful uh, journal page I'm going to cut the scraps the excess out of my pages after the edges uh, my page is ready and here are the close-up pictures for you to see I did the text stamping because there was text stamping on the uh, bird image as well as you can see uh, from the close-ups uh, now we are uh, switching to another uh, window uh, duo uh, so I have these uh, stars I'm going to use them like a stencil and uh, do some embossing this is my embossing dabber I'm just uh, dabbing over these uh, stars uh, and uh, as you see I also dabbed uh, the other page but don't worry just use a baby wipe and wipe them off uh, this is a spray page uh, and the spray will react with water but doesn't matter it will just become something else um, the background is there we didn't do anything on it um, and uh, I'm going to use my copper uh, again, uh, embossing powder from Wo, uh, to go over this. Uh, also, don't forget to powder it uh, if you don't want it to stick somewhere else. I think I forgot, but the page was very dry, so nothing happened. Uh, and after I uh, heat set it, it looks uh, beautiful like this. And uh, I'm going to use a big uh, sentiment this time. Uh, before that, uh, uh, before I stick it, I'm going to use my uh, background stamps and give some interest at the back. I'm using this, uh, this little star from the Tim Holtz BT Grunge and using a blue uh, ink to stamp. I did it with both uh, dark blue and then grey. Uh, and uh, next uh, you will see that uh, I'm going to use uh, this uh, rays from the same stamp collection and use my uh, sepia ink uh, to just uh, uh, have some rays uh, as if it's coming out of the sentiment and the sentiment says let life uh, surprise you it also goes well because uh, it's when you open the page with openings it will come through uh, so it's a nice one I glued it after I finished with my rays and uh, I'm going around it uh, with a black pen also my white uh, gel pen to do some um, highlights and I'll close it with the regular uh, black border after that I'm going to work with the page that is at the front and you will see the pictures uh, when I finish this too I'm going to stick uh, uh, this is from the sticker collection again uh, I'm just cutting the hearts and uh, sticking into these uh, stars so they will also show in the other page nicely and when I open you will see the other page uh, I'm just correcting the cuts and I also went around these little hearts with black pen I want uh, these uh, uh, stars to look like they are hung so I'm uh, cutting a little bit natural string uh, and uh, I'm sticking it over the stars with the glue uh, sometimes I'm giving a curve to make a, a different look and it looks more natural uh, and I'm going to do it with the third one as well from the same mini stamp set uh, I took this uh, one with all the sentiments and I'm going to use these uh, blue uh, blue inks in different tones uh, to just go over this stencil with my finger dabber again because I have all these uh, large stars in the middle of the page I'm going for a simple design for the rest of it I'm going to finish off with uh, again the famous black edges and also a bit of white splashes in the end you will see the pictures when I open the page with the copper showing through uh, and here it comes this is the page that's going to show so when you open it looks really cute and here are the close-up pictures for you to see the details and all the shine I really like how the copper uh, embossing powder uh, shines through all these pages as a concept as well 
So for the next page, uh, uh, as you see, this uh, star page will close and uh, this uh, other blue page will be at the back. I found that uh, in this collection there is this uh, wooden uh, background, but sometime, uh, I don't even remember when, I used my stencil over it with my modeling paste. Uh, it dried and I didn't use it, so it stayed there. So what I'm doing is I'm utilizing this page that I did before and it makes me so ridiculously happy <laughs> utilizing something that was there for a long time and I didn't know what to do with it is uh, another pleasure. Uh, I'm sure it is for you too. So I'm just gluing it at the background leaving uh, enough space uh, for the uh, border. And uh, as you see, when I close, uh, it shows uh, all this uh, wooden texture with uh, uh, snowflakes. When I closed, a couple of places didn't show the snowflakes. So I'm going to add uh, uh, three of them too in the uh, space that I see in the middle. And I'm going to uh, stick my sentiment in the middle where uh, the stars won't interfere with it. As you see, it's uh, perfect. I decided to give it a little border uh, at the edges. Uh, this is from my Viva Decor uh, background set. It's little dots again. Uh, so you can use whatever you have in your stash to give it a little bit movement uh, on the edges. And the final details, the black edges and uh, also uh, the drawings of black lines uh, and white uh, details and I call it this page done as well so when I close I also see the uh, snowflakes with the wood background coming through these uh, stars and as you see I need to do another uh, third page to complete this uh, window uh, I decided to go with a long sentiment uh, so I can use the uh, middle part uh, in the middle of the stars going through all the page and then I can stick the one up and the one uh, a part of it up and a part of it down. I'm going to make an alignment like this uh, so that the stars are protected going around with the black pen and the white uh, gel pen. My white gel pen is Arteza and I'm really happy with it. It doesn't block, its flow is really good uh, and I would really recommend it. It comes in a pack of three um, with different uh, size of tips uh, which is really perfect. And um, I decided to decorate this page with uh, some sparkle. I, I took out my little uh, sparkles and in white. Uh, and uh, the others uh, sequins in blue and I think it looks really nice and here are the details for you to see these two pages the one at the back and the one that closes over these uh, snowflakes it looks really nice for the next page I want to add a little bit of uh, interactivity so I took out this uh, envelope from the uh, scrapbook papers and I cut, uh, cut it uh, with a craft knife so that I can open it uh, and I'm using my text stamp to uh, give a little bit interest at the background also it goes with the theme of the envelope there are some scripts on the envelope uh, so they kind of seem more cohesive when you do like this match some images from your uh, focal point to the background and I'm going to glue my uh, envelope from the edges in the middle of the page and inside the uh, little opening I'm going to uh, glue a sentiment which says hello there so when someone opens uh, they, will, uh, they will see that uh, sentiment and uh, I'm going to add a couple more uh, on the page currently good vibes only uh, what, can, what else can there be when you're creating beautiful art? Uh, I'm doing the usuals. Uh, I'll just glue it better now. Uh, the black lines uh, and the white highlights probably. And then the usual white splashes will come. 
uh, together with the black uh, edges uh, that I did for all the pages and uh, you will see the close-up pictures for you to uh, see the details uh, I really loved if the journal pages have this kind of surprises uh, it gives another uh, another beauty to it I think uh, and moving on to the next page I'm going to cut one of these postcards uh, it looks very wintry uh, and I love the uh, views uh, that it has and I have my penny black uh, script stamp that has beautiful handwriting on it together with a grey color I'm going to stamp again at the background so I'll just uh, ink it up and uh, stamp it at the background to have something going on and again I think it matches the postcard theme because you write something on the postcard and uh, I have this mini stamp from Art by Marlene I'm going to use the dark blue color uh, that I have uh, and kind of create a, a vague border uh, all around I'm leaving some space empty because I think it makes it more interesting um, and uh, I always go with the number three so three uh, edges uh, is enough for this border uh, again it works on the eye and I'm going to uh, glue this postcard off the page and a little bit uh, to the side, not straight. And as you see, it, it makes it all the more interesting because there's something off the page, it goes on uh, and it's not straight. Uh, and I'm going to glue these uh, beautiful butterflies to accompany this uh, postcard. Uh, my sentiment is this, so I'm going to just cut it and uh, glue it on my page uh, but before that I'm, I decided to have a base for it uh, um, to have uh, more interest and I'm going to distress these parts of these scrapbooks I just cut it from the, uh, the pages I showed you at the beginning I'm not using anything, uh, anything else than what I showed uh, this is uh, Tim Holtz uh, distress tool I also went around it with my uh, blue ink uh, just to get rid of the white edges and I'm doing the same for the sentiment uh, and uh, <laughs> it says days like these are perfect uh, I miss snow so much uh, I wish it snows uh, here in London but it rarely does uh, there is always rain uh, but not much snow uh, and we are in a uh, lockdown and uh, I wish uh, there was like it was covered with white while we can't go anywhere anyway so I'm using uh, my snow marker here uh, on the tree to leave a little bit snow uh, and also I'm going to uh, draw uh, with it again at the bottom of the page to make some snow as well the snow marker is uh, great I don't use it too often uh, but since I have it I just wanted to give a little bit love to it because it was lying around for too long without being used so you just uh, paint like a marker uh, all around and just uh, heat set it when you heat set it it becomes uh, some puffy dimensional uh, texture uh, and uh, it turns it into snow and of course when there is snow how can we miss the splashes so I'm doing the white splashes and leave you with the uh, pictures for you to see the details as you see uh, the snow is a little bit 3D which adds a nice dimension and interest uh, on the page in the next page I want to do something interesting uh, as well I'm going to cut this uh, a little window uh, and uh, actually I'm going to open that window after I cut it with my uh, craft knife uh, as you see here uh, I'm going to use my craft knife to open a little window uh, in the uh, middle of it and I'm going to create a scenery first I'm going to work on the background first uh, I'm again using Art by Marlene uh, stamps, background stamps, just to stamp here and there a little bit. Um, you can use any stamp that you have, uh, I always tell again and again. And I have these little uh, uh, chipboards 
that are very delicate and uh, not so thick uh, so I'm going to use them to create my scenery uh, these are from Skripiniak and um, believe or not uh, they are in my stash uh, since probably five plus years I don't even remember uh, there was a time I was really uh, uh, willing to use uh, chipboards uh, I love doing canvases tags uh, and I like the dimension of them uh, but then I don't know I somehow got out of it and uh, leaned towards art journals more and uh, in a book they are difficult to use uh, while I was making that uh, very long explanation uh, I just embossed uh, the trees with white embossing powder so now they are white not uh, the wood color and I'm going to make this page dimensional so I'm just adding some uh, 3d uh, foam tape behind my window uh, and uh, so that my it's raised and uh, my scenery will look like it's uh, in a frame or somebody is looking out of the window whatever your imagination <laughs> imagination wants you to do I'm also gluing down my trees a uh, little I uh, also damaged it a little bit but I didn't give up uh, I kept all the pieces and uh, I just glued them down now I'm doing this process now because I won't be able to uh, do anything on this page for a while until I wait for the things to dry you will see in a second uh, and I decided to fill these little uh, circles uh, with white uh, dots uh, so that there's a little bit uh, whiteness uh, and pop on the page I think it looks much nicer and I am doing snow inside this uh, window so it's like a snowing uh, scenery and after that I'm going to actually fill uh, the uh, ground of this uh, little window with a uh, modeling paste representing snow again uh, you can use whatever you want if you want to use acrylic paint uh, acrylic paint uh, will also dry uh, permanent and uh, dimensional if you use a lot uh, like I'm doing here but you need to wait uh, I think it will take uh, longer for acrylic paint to dry than this modeling paste uh, and this is my Nuvo uh, crystal drops this is transparent it's called Mountain Dew um, so it's like glossy accents of ranger it's the same thing I'm going to fill all this window with this uh, uh, glass uh, with this uh, transparent uh, uh, drop and uh, it will look like uh, it's a window it's glass uh, I know it looks a little bit milky now and not so uh, straight there are some bumps on it but I'm going to use my palette knife to straighten uh, all these uh, inequalities uh, and uh, I'll do my best it won't be perfect but uh, who wants perfect uh, it's uh, it's good that it has mistakes it looks very natural and when it dries it will dry clear that's why I did everything before so that I don't need to uh, move the page again uh, and I'm going to stick my sentiment uh, on the sides as a change go for your dreams I'm going to go around the sentiment with uh, my black marker and the white gel pen give some highlights and uh, I will leave you with the beautiful pictures for you to see uh, how it looks when it dries and as you see it looks like uh, it's covering all this snow and the background is blurry uh, so it looks like a snow scenery I really like it uh, I'm going to darken up this page a little bit it looked very chalky and similar to the other one so to have a difference uh, I'm using my brown ink uh, to go over it uh, so that I can have a, a different one uh, now that I'm happy with it I'm going to continue with this page I'm using this uh, corrugated uh, cardstock uh, this time I bought one uh, long while ago and I keep using it and it never finished it's a 12 by 12 that I bought from a stationery um, and I'm going to use this penny black stamp uh, that looks very delicate uh, on the background again you can choose whatever you want for the background uh, it has these little feathers as well so I'm going to use them uh, around two 
After that, uh, I'm going to uh, work on my cardstock, the corrugated cardstock, and uh, I'm going to ink up the edges with the same brown uh, ink and also the uh, raised parts. If I go over it anyway, it covers the raised parts. This is my focal point. It's a tag that I cut from the Blue Land uh, scrap collection. And I'm going to glue it down right behind the uh, cardstock. And I will uh, glue it uh, above that. So it's, it looks uh, a lot more interesting than uh, gluing the tag itself. And I will go around it with my brown ink again. Uh, and I decided to use my uh, beautiful uh, sequins on this page too. So I will uh, just stick uh, here and there. I also uh, decided that I could make things more interesting by uh, going over the cardstock with some white paint. Uh, since there are raised parts, it only covers uh, those uh, and it brightens up the page and uh, looks a lot more uh, interesting than the uh, normal self. Finally, the white splashes. Uh, I will uh, do a little bit. Uh, the sentiment is it's a new day, uh, which I like. Uh, it's a mindset that we should have actually. Uh, every day is a new day and uh, something nice can happen. Uh, and I'm going to ink up the edges after I make little snow with my uh, Novo Drops in white color. And I will leave you with the details so that you can see from the close-up pictures. Uh, here the Nuvo Drops takes the color of the background a little bit because it's ink, not acrylic paint. But it's okay, it looks all nice uh, eventually. Next page is the double page that is in the middle. <coughs> and I love these blues there. I'm going to use my powder tool all over my page because I'm going to do some embossing. I'm using this bricks uh, um, stamp that I have. Uh, it's a very simple one. There are loads in the market, so I'm sure you can find one easily. I'm using my Versa mark and uh, just stamp it uh, uh, just in the middle of the page. I'm going to use my copper uh, embossing powder by Wall to emboss it uh, and uh, you will see that it will look beautiful uh, over the blues. Uh, and uh, I cut these, I fussy cut these uh, flowers and the uh, bench uh, from my scrapbooks and I'm going to stick them onto this uh, background uh, because it's kind of blurred in the background, they are both blue. You will see that uh, I have uh, quite a lot of black shadows all around these images. Um, you can see it on the pictures very clearly. And I have this big uh, sentiment this time. Uh, just to uh, glue on the other page. Uh, again, I have these butterflies uh, to stick here and there to complete my focal point and uh, making things cohesive, uh, sticking them in both pages. So I have my pages uh, nice and easy. Uh, I am doing the edges as usual. I'll do in the middle as well. Uh, I think it will look nice uh, because these two images are a little bit different. And of course the white splashes comes uh, just on time. I am quite heavy handed on this one because the background is acrylic and they will show off uh, a lot. And as you see I just went around with uh, my black marker uh, and did a lot of shadowing around the bench and the sentiment to se separate them from the uh, same color background. And it worked out just fine. The next page is this uh, background, brownish one, and uh, I took my uh, stamp, the background stamp, that has some circles on it. Uh, so I'm using this uh, blue cauliflower blue uh, archival ink to stamp it. And uh, I have these beautiful butterflies, again from my scrapbook pages, pa um, papers, and I am just gluing them. Uh, at on the page as my focal point. I'm going to cut the excess from all around the uh, page uh, and uh, my sentiment will be dream it do it. Again I took it from the sticker book uh, and it goes uh, very well with the colors that I have. Uh, again doing the black edges uh, and the white splashes as usual. 
Uh, I'm doing these because then uh, everything comes together uh, as a whole, as a journal, uh, with these similarities. Uh, I say it over and over again, but uh, this is what makes it a full journal uh, according to me. And you can see the details from the close-up pictures. The next page is uh, this beautiful blue uh, background. Actually, it looks kind of like beach as well. Uh, like the water is splashing on the beach, but it could be snow and the uh, sky too. So whichever you dream, since we are doing winter concept, so it must be snow. Uh, I'm, I just stamped a little bit at the background with my script stamp. Uh, another uh, fussy cut from my scrapbook papers. Uh, these beautiful butterflies in the frames. Since in the frames there are scripts as well, that's why I wanted to do background with a uh, script. And again, I'm going to uh, stick these uh, off the page so that uh, it looks more interesting, like there is a continuation of it. My sentiment is make every day count. Uh, here is my little butterfly too. And I am uh, just using my stickles in uh, transparent uh, glitter color. Just go around the, all the page to give some glittery snow. Uh, and it looks fantastic when it dries. Uh, I will show you from the pictures. And I decided to uh, splash uh, dark blue because the page is already light and uh, I think it will work well like the next page. Uh, if you splash a little bit blue. As you see it was difficult when you have the sentiment there white. So I decided to cover it uh, and splash freely. And after the dark edges, here is uh, how my page looks. Uh, you can see the stickers details, all shiny and beautiful. That was the last page. Uh, so finally, the most exciting part, we're going to uh, assemble our journal. Uh, this is a silver elastic band. Uh, I have silver, gold, black and white and I'm hoping to uh, cover all the journals that I'm going to create with these four colors. Um, and uh, I bought these one millimeter uh, elastic uh, bands. Um, I think thicker, uh, maybe it could be two millimeters too, but uh, thicker than that will damage the holes and <coughs> uh, you will rip off, rip them off. Uh, so I'm just uh, uh, placing the elastic band, uh, holding all the pages together, and I'm going to uh, tie it there. You can do uh, variations according to what you want to uh, do with the color cover. Uh, I'm just uh, going to uh, tie it there. Uh, and then I will have some metal embellishments uh, like my other two journals. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz uh, coins uh, here. They have many uh, words on it. I uh, I took a door and uh, the snow uh, flake that I have in my stash uh, gifted by a friend. So I always remember my friends uh, when I look at my journals. Um, and uh, I chose the Ador one because I really like snow and it never snows in London unfortunately. Uh, not never but very rarely. Uh, it's a rain city, rain country. Uh, but uh, it's fine. I like rain too. Uh, so I'm going to flip through uh, quickly for you to see the whole thing. How everything uh, came together with the matching uh, concept of course. The matching details. Um, this looks uh, really great now. Very interesting uh, to flip through. I'm, I'm sure people will touch it a lot. Um, and the copper embossing looks great. Uh, color scheme I love. It's very wintry. Uh, and all the edges we did uh, similarly. Uh, all the embossings, uh, when there are embossings, they are copper. Uh, so it's very cohesive. Uh, that's what I like to create. It's uh, When I create these, I have a bigger picture in my mind uh, that uh, I want to use the same things every now and then so that they all match. Here crystal uh, and copper uh, stickles uh, and this uh, middle page. My elastic band got <laughs> tangled with that butterfly there. 
um, and I'm I love this page too with all the snow and the three stars uh, and behind uh, there is this copper uh, embossing uh, and I love the strings it adds another dimension and interest uh, which makes things uh, more exciting and the sequins uh, I love them too uh, and the snow is uh, peeking through these uh, gaps uh, I also love the sentiments they are all positive uh, a nice uh, here is the postcard with the snow uh, with the snow pen uh, you can do this with modeling paste too it doesn't matter and the corrugated cardstock also added another interest here are the beautiful stickers on this simple uh, monochromatic page and these birch trees have the copper uh, copper embossing and the uh, cover and the back cover have my chipboards um, I really love it so I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial very long one uh, thanks for watching if you are still here uh, I really appreciate it uh, you will see the pictures close up pictures page by page again here don't forget to follow me over Instagram uh, I uh, put a full flip movie uh, flip videos uh, before I post on YouTube uh, for sneak peeks uh, and a lot more other things uh, and also please don't forget to subscribe like comment on my videos if you like them thank you so much for watching and see you next time